Hey everybody, it's Jackie. Today I'm going to show you some tips for starting your abstract paintings. Here's my abstract painting. Um, so grab your watercolor paints, some paper, um, pencils, eraser, and we will get started. Assignment, we're going to be working with the same compositions and setups that you used for your still life paintings. Here's a picture of the still life that I set up. I have a squash that I grew in my garden, a little white bottle, and a cat figurine that I purchased at an estate sale.
for comparison, here is the photo of the still life, and here is my completed or nearly completed abstract painting. Um, I might decide to work back into a few areas of this composition a little bit later if I have time, but I wanted to finish up this video. Um, so you can see I've made a lot of changes um, and taken great liberties from the three objects that we see on the table in the photograph. The squash and the bottle are approximately the same size, um, though the squash is much larger than the bottle in real life. Um, and the cat is also enlarged. The shape of the squash and the bottle have both been faceted, um, so they appear to be made of sharper and flatter planes rather than being um, more organic forms and the pattern on the table and the patterning on the cat have both been embellished. So there you have it. Starting with three objects and then turning them into an abstract painting. Now remember your painting will look and should look much different from mine. Um, this process is highly subjective so you should have fun with it and try to create something that is completely unique um, and interesting to look at. As always, if you have questions, feel free to email me or visit me during our office hours. And thanks as always for tuning in. See you guys later.